forget the uh, dirty section of YouTube. You slipping into, listen, you acting like the asshole of YouTube. <laughs> All I've done was for you. What have you done for me, bro? What have you done for that brother where he owe you a call? Who do? Who the fuck you think you are, bro? Stop playing with me, fam. You already know you're not smarter than Ringo TV. You're one of my students. Always remember that. That's a fact. I'm praising nigga too much. But why's he gonna think you saw? Who? Who are you, bro? We don't worship you, bro. You just a man. Who are you that we gotta bow down to you and go to you and it's all about you, 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 you. You a self-centered person, bro. Mm. I have a falling out with a fellow content creator and why is this brother upset? Let me break this down to you. Now, I help brother, I help the brother move. Move his belongings from New York to North Carolina. Um, I live in Atlanta. So we're talking about several miles away from home. I went out there to help the brother move. But before that, the brother came to a land walk. And, you know, that's my first time meeting the brother. Seemed like a cool guy. He's a family man. I ain't got nothing ill, no thoughts wrong with the brother, none of that. When he got there, and this is on video record, he was staying at a place that was less desirable. Because, of course, he doesn't know the area. He, he stayed in a hotel that wasn't suitable for him or his family. Or wife or whatever the case is. So I helped this brother get into a better position. You know, which he, he said that himself. Helped the brother get into a, a, a room that was more fitting out of my pocket. I pay out of my pocket. Helped this brother out to make sure that his family was straight. Um, the brother then, you know, had to go view houses. The brother had to go purchase a vehicle. When I was a brother, I was a man there for him. I was all for it. I offered that. He didn't have to ask me. It's like, bro, you need to do what? Oh, man, you having problems with the rental car or with this? I got you. I got you. I'll take you anywhere you need to go, fam. And make sure that you're going to get what you need while you're here. And that's what I did for the brother. So fast forward. I didn't already prove to be a reliable brother. Fast forward. The brother contacted me about helping him move because he got the place. And I was very happy for this man. I'm, I was very happy for this brother. And I just applauded the fact that he got out of his current situation into a better situation. And it was a beautiful thing. And he asked me to help him move. Now, there must have been some type of misunderstanding that took place. Because what I thought the brother told me was he didn't trust the moving company. Because he had a he had an idea that they were trying to scam him or they were trying to steal his belongings. So he said, brother, can you can you help me move? I said, bro, I got you. So I went out there, helped the brother move. And what he, what he said in one of the voice memos, which caused the perhaps caused the misunderstanding. What he said to me was instead of giving instead of giving this moving company money, I'd rather pay you, my brother. I'd rather give I'd rather give this to you than give it to them. Right. This, this is what was said. So I I figured, OK. And also, he said, I also will pay for all travel to and fro. So I'm like, OK, instead of them people stealing his belongings, instead of, you know, these people, you know, doing the brother dirty, I'm going to show up and I'm going to help the brother. When a brother comes to me and says, instead of paying the moving company, I'm going to pay you. I'm thinking the amount that was said, which I believe it was around thirty five hundred that he listed. I'm thinking, all right, I'm going instead of giving that to them, I'm going to give that to you and I'm going to pay for your travel. Right. So that's how I took it. Right or wrong. That's how it sounded like it was communicated. So, OK, not a problem. I believe Ringo TV tried New Breed like he stated in his own video. But New Breed, the issue I have with you is that you should have never launched UP Farms to begin with. This is what caused you to dismiss the scriptures and welcome all people to this ordeal. Then the minute you two ninjas fell out, both of you Negroes started quoting scriptures. And y'all already had disagreements on doctrine, but you chose to put money and prestige first, knowing that Ringo TV is quick to break fellowship at the slightest of disagreements and Ringo TV is only one dude so you plan to invite all these heathens to the land and expect it to be peaceful how exactly do you plan to do that without selling your soul and being at enmity with the most high the most high never meant for all people to come together you use the demise of dirty low Dow as an opportunity to become his competitor you even used his strategy to invite these heathen Edomites to the land. What you are doing is very wicked. So let me let me tell you what happens here. So go out there, help the brother move. It's a lot of work. Um, arriving there, man, I, I just don't believe that the brother really planned it out well for the people who was helping him. Um, he didn't really plan it out well for myself and my wife because the same day that we touched down, 
I mean, this brother's picking up the truck the same day we touched down. We didn't really even get a chance to rest. By the time we went and got some food, got back to the room, literally hours later, we're helping the brother move from New York City all the way to North Carolina. Mind you, we didn't really get any sleep. Uh, we were restless. I mean, we literally, we just, it, it, we, we were, I mean, absolutely exhausted, right? We're exhausted to the point of like, yo, I don't know how we're going to be able to do this. And the brother wanted to move in the middle of the night because he didn't want neighbors in his business, which is understood. We didn't get no rest. The, the move took a lot longer than expected, way longer than expected. And the job was probably should have been better for a moving company. It probably should have been better for a moving company looking at the workload between just us two brothers with our wives actually helping. And so, you know, continuing the story here, the truth, which is not that sensationalized, really. So continuing what's going on here, we, uh, you know, we're helping the brother move. It's a whole lot of work. My wife is exhausted. I mean, she's out there helping, you know, she's literally watching the truck in case, you know, something go down. And it's just, it's a, it's an experience that's very long and drawn out. And we literally went days, no shower, barely ate, barely rested. And we doing all this work. And we get there and we unloading the truck. And for whatever reason, uh, the brother I'm speaking of, he decided it was a good time for him to cut grass instead of helping finish up unloading the truck. I didn't really quite understand why he wasn't helping unload the truck. Then I thought to myself, okay, so he's really treating us like a moving company. Now, Ringo TV did put Newbury to the test over money, but Newbury certainly has the right to do the same as well. And money can be used as the ultimate test for all people. After all, he was meeting you for the very first time too. You don't test someone the first time you meet them over money because both of you were making first impressions. And in this dilemma, Newbury was doing a whole lot more for you than you were for him. Talking about your wife called to check on Newbury's wife and they didn't answer the phone. As though that offense justifies you and your pride and not paying this man his worth. And all of this is if what Newbury said is true, which I believe it is. Ringo TV, you promised a man a certain amount of money, but you use that as an opportunity to equal what UP Farms would be like under his direction and you potentially invest in money in the whole ordeal. That was not the time and place for that. I understand that it's not easy. It's been a stressful situation. I know how it is moving from one state to the next. So what I told the brother was, look, I know, I know you said you was going to give me something for my, for my help. Um, but don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that on your time. Cause I understand you got stuff going on, but I'm still going to need that. This is what I said. I said, do that on your time, but I'm still going to need that. And what the brother did was, he sent me something. It wasn't what I expected. And I was grateful for what he sent. He sent me something. It was not what I expected at all. But I was like, Yo, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's cool. But there was an issue because he was supposed to take care of travel to and from. To and from. And we had some issues because we were so exhausted. We had to get a room and we had to get a rental car. So I, I sent the brother a text message. And I wonder if I, I, if I show y'all this message that's so horrendous to him. It's so, it's so evil to him what I sent him. Just, I don't understand how he even took it that way, right? Basically just saying, hey, bro, you know, if you feel the need to resolve this issue, you know, uh, travel back cost us amount of dollars. You know, we need this, that, and the third. It was not disrespectful. I did not disrespect this man not one bit, y'all. I swear, I promise y'all I didn't disrespect this man. Well, Newbury, part of it is your fault because you did not thoroughly peep into the past trauma that Ringo TV had dealing with Creflo Dollar, sending him money, finding out that he was a fraud. And Ringo TV understood how desperately you needed to raise money for UP Farms. Therefore, I blame you two 50-50. Okay, you get equal blame. That doesn't mean in this particular situation that Ringo TV is right for not paying you for your services or even that he is a bigger man than you. I'm looking at the entire situation since Dirty Lodow and the two of you attempted to build something without Christ. So the next day, the next day, some voice memos come through. And there's a total of like maybe 50 voice memos. And I see the voice memos and I listen to the first two voice memos. And the brother's accusing me of being all about money. Well, according to him, Ringo TV believes that you were courting him and his wife 
so they can make a huge investment in UP farms, bro. I actually agree with him on that, although he should have paid you and just let bygones be bygones. This was my response. I didn't listen to none of the voice memos at that point because that hurt me so bad, bro, that I'm going out my way so much. I live in Atlanta. I went to New York City. I helped this man pack up, move all the way to North Carolina. I'm driving a 27 footer through the tight ass Bronx streets. A brother that I support. A brother that I shouted out, a brother I sent cash apps to, a brother I sent super chats to, a brother I promoted, a brother I helped to help find the place, to help find a new vehicle, a brother I actually loved, man, loved that brother, man, for the work he done. And that's, he, he literally accused me of some nonsense like that. And I just spent way more money on this brother than he than what he gave me. Even if you were genuine in your gesture, Ringo TV does not believe Jesus Christ is God, and neither do you. So everything you did for him is under the domain of Satan, unfortunately. About money, fam. Like, bro, you talking to me about me accusing me. And I'm supposed to respond to that how? How am I supposed to respond to that? So what I did was, you know what I did? I sent him a cash app giving his money back. Some of it. I sent him a That was my response. And I said, for misunderstanding. I said, for misunderstanding. That was my response. And I was so hurt about the situation, I stayed quiet for a while about it because it showed that he wasn't even grateful for the things that I've done for him, bro. He didn't, he didn't. It's like, yo, bro, my wife, her legs were swelled up. My wife is pregnant. I got two children on the way. That brother never thought, yo, maybe Bree needs this support and maybe we had a misunderstanding. I literally said misunderstanding. He didn't like the way I responded. So this, this is what happens. He brings it all on social media. You got my phone number, fam. I'm a grown man. You a grown man. You don't talk at me like it's a YouTube video. Real new breed. You've been seeing him do this for years. He was once friends with Dirty Low Dow. So how do you expect anything to be different with you? Now this brother wants to draw everything. I'm not drawing nothing now. I'm telling you the truth because it's not as entertaining, but it's the facts. This is from my perspective. But nobody care about the whole conclusion of the matter. Nobody cares about the full story, the full picture of what actually took place. Only thing y'all want to do is hear a, see a bloodbath. How do you think my feelings feel? I see brothers. I see, man, brothers I look at like little brothers, man. How do you think my feelings feel? It's over here on the Sabbath. I'm supposed to be resting, but I got to address this nonsense because I decided to lift a helping hand to another brother and try my best to keep it off social media. And for the record, the man got on right after we left from helping him move, talking about he going solo, why you need to roll solo. And they're going to sit up here and say that I subbed him and I sneak dissed him. That was the ammunition needed for all of the people to know that we had an issue. Because in my video, I said I just left New York. He's on there talking about he going solo. You did sneak dissed him. You shouted out Born Row, knowing that he had an issue with him. And you also made a rap song claiming that you shorted up your friend list and that some of your friends jump ship let's not play these games projecting on me like i'm over here sneak this and no that's what you doing you sneak this in. all your titles chosen one this this ain't real that ain't anything i speak about you you're sneak this in it. all my talking points that's the things i get now that is 100 percent true because ringo tv was the first to take shots even while they were on good terms. I just didn't have enough time to search through all of these videos where he did that. I didn't say, nah, bro, you you on your own on this. I stayed there till the job was done. I stayed there till the job was done. You, but you ain't appreciate me. You got me on, you on social media got it look like I'm some evil man who just using people. And the other bro that I love dearly, man, Bro, anything I did for you, I ain't got nothing. For, I did it for you, bro. I ain't earned nothing from for helping you set up anything, bro. All I want is my people to come together. And this, the, and this is what I get. You cannot get people to come together and expect peace when you did not want the laws and statutes of the Most High to be associated with UP Farms, bro. You have no idea the sacrifices I made. You have no idea what I was going through uh, during that uh, situation we had in my personal life. But you didn't call and check up on me. You didn't respond to my. You didn't respond to my cash app when I was giving you some of the bread back. No. You wanted to take it to social media because this is what you do. That's correct. But you knew this before you decided to do business with Rango TV. But you took a risk anyway, 
hoping that he would see the bigger picture and not cut off his nose to spite his face. But Ringo TV was willing to sell the drama rather than risk hundreds of thousands of dollars in UP farms and wait years to see a return on his investment. Content creation is all about instant gratification. You know that, bro. It's about instant gratification and it does not revolve around the word of the Most High. He's basically doing you the way that Dirty No Doubt did Rufus. Now, of course, the contents of the predicament is remarkably different, but the same evil spirit directed them both. And it's crazy that people who ain't, who ain't, bro, you use me, but trying to make it seem like I used you. Bro, that hurts. Just for, to even, how did you even draw that conclusion? I'm just only rocking with you just to get money out your pocket, fam. How did you even draw that conclusion when I broke bread with you? Why I've super chatted you? Why I've cash out you? Well, no, Pete, this is why you sort of thought 12 steps ahead. Y'all fell out over a simple matter that called for smaller sum of money. That's why in the last video I did, I suggested that you requested 10 bands from him, not claiming that this actually happened, but that this eventually be required of him from you. And you maybe even would have asked him for 25 bands. What if things went awry then? Even after Ringo TV paid you in full for helping him move. Now you could have potentially provided one of the most perilous content creators on YouTube years of material to drag your name through the mud. At what expense? At the expense of a man who helped you? At the expense of what? And, I ain't, and I'm not waving no white flags or copping no please. And also, let me put this out here. I have no control over what other content creators put out. I'm not over here calling this one and calling that one and telling them to make videos. These brothers are doing things on their own merit. Whether I agree or disagree with some of the, the sediments or material coming out, I have nothing to do with it. They're grown men. So stop trying to make it look like I got some type of hive and I got some type of uh, gang or camp or network and I'm just, I'm just summoning them against you. You got a real victim mentality. He's right, Ringo TV. I never had a conversation with New Breed about you. I've been on your ass about this polygyny false doctrine, and it just so happens New Breed was once associated with you. Although I quickly learned that he believes as you do, all right? And again, put this out there and challenge both of you on the false doctrine of polygyny. I've already done a series on it, and I also challenge you to prove that Jesus Christ is not God, which I know that Jesus Christ is God. And if you do not believe that he is God, you will die in your sins. All right? Don't let your flesh write checks that your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. It's all about fates and gates. You've got to have faith and you're going to need God's grace.